Hey guys, this is episode 3 in my Windows 8 series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to increase your productivity in Windows 8. And this episode is going to be broken up into six different segments showing six different things. So let's get started. When booting up Windows 8, you're going to be greeted with this login screen every single time you sign on. And it could get annoying after a while. So there is a way to get rid of it. So when you turn on Windows 8, it'll just boot straight to your start screen. So basically all we have to do is open up our command prompt or our run box. And to do so, you just hit the Windows key and R. And all you're going to do is type in gpedit.msc and hit enter. And this will open your local group policy editor. And all we want to do is navigate to computer configuration right here and go to administrative template, go to control panel, and then click on personalization. And now right here, there's three different settings. And the third one says, do not display the lock screen. And if you don't want to display it, you can double click on it and it'll bring up the properties box for it. And now make sure that um, where it says not configured, just check enabled and press apply and OK. And now every time you log on to Windows, it won't display the log on screen. Now even though that we've removed the lock screen, you're still going to be forced to log in manually every time your system starts. So in order to make Windows log us in automatically, all we have to do is open our run box again by pressing Windows R. And now we're going to type in N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z and press enter. And this is going to launch the user's account dialog. And now, basically all we have to do is where it says users must enter a username and password to use this computer, you just have to uncheck that and make sure that your account is selected. And all you have to do is press apply and you're going to have to enter your password. In my case, I don't have a password, so I can just press OK. And then you hit OK. And now every single time you log into Windows 8, it's not going to ask you for your password or the it's not going to enter the log on screen you may have noticed that in the bottom left hand corner there's no more start menu on windows 8 and there are two possible solutions um, in acquiring that start menu all we have to do is open up our internet browser and go to leesoft.com slash vistart. I can post this link in the description below. And we can download vistart, which is one of the options. Um, and it'll basically just install a start button for you. Another program you can install is it's called Start8. I can also put that in the description below. And it's made by Stardock. So I'm going to install vistart just to show you guys what it looks like. So after you enter the website, just click on this link right here in the center. It's called, it says download start menu. And now after you start it, it'll or download it, it'll automatically load. And as you can see down here in the bottom left, I have a start button now. And it's an executable program. So as you can see right here, I can I could right click on it and press exit and it would uh, close the start button but if we click on the start button it acts um, just like a regular start button in Windows 7 one problem would be is if you hit the Windows key on your keyboard 
now it's just going to open that start button it's never going to open your metro ui so in order to open the metro ui when you have this app running you're going to take your mouse and bring it down to the bottom left hand corner and you'll see this start thumbnail pop up and you can just click on that and then your metro ui will open up again The Windows Metro interface is a major change from what you're probably used to, so it might take quite a while to get familiar with. And while you're doing that, there are a variety of Windows shortcuts that you can learn in order to make your learning quicker. And I can put all those shortcuts up right now on the screen. A lot of them are similar to what you guys have used in Windows 7. And I'll also post a PDF below with a bunch of the, the um, shortcuts if you want to download that just to take a look at them without having to access this video every time. Windows has now incorporated what they call intelligent screen grabs into Windows 8. What this means is if you're inside a Metro app, let's say we open up our travel application you can basically take a screenshot using the Windows key and print screen as you did in Windows 7 but now instead of it only copying to the clipboard it will copy it to and it will copy it and put it into your pictures folder automatically and it'll save it as a PNG file so if you just hit Windows key and print screen it's going to automatically take a screenshot of your uh, Metro app and you can just access that through your My Pictures. One thing you may have noticed in Windows 8 is if you're trying to open up a picture it's going to open it up automatically in a Metro app and if you don't want it to do this you're gonna have to physically go into your control panel and change it so in order to do that we are going to launch our control panel which can be accessed if you drag your mouse down to the left hand corner and then right click on the start thumbnail and you can click on control panel and now navigate to programs and then default programs and now click set your default programs and now down where it says Windows Photo Viewer you want to click on that and basically all you're going to do is click on set this program as default and then once you do that you're just going to press OK and now when we try to open up this picture it should just open up in the Windows Photo Viewer instead of the Metro app and as you can see it does so. Alright guys this concludes video 3 out of my 7 video series on how to use Windows 8 and if you haven't checked out my last video just click the left arrow on the screen now and if you want to check out the next video in the series click the right arrow and if you liked this video be sure to comment like or subscribe and as always, I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a great day.